so I am doing something completely different today in the way that I am starting my vlog, which is on my phone, because I am entirely too lazy to go get my vlogging camera, and I haven't picked it up at all today, which is strange because guess what? I'm in the Dominican Republic, currently sitting seaside, and for the first time in a very, very, very long time, I just wanted to relax, like really just do nothing. And this place really allows for it. I have very weak service. I have no Wi-Fi and there's absolutely nothing on the agenda. And normally that would freak me out. And there is a part of me that's like, oh my God, I need to be doing something. But to what I've done today shows me that I can enjoy the art of doing nothing. I wish I could remember the phrase um, eat, pray, love. I think the word I'm thinking of means let's cross over. So I'm not even going to say it. But that's what I'm doing today. I'm just enjoying the act or the art of doing nothing. So hopefully I'll pick up my camera at some point for the rest of the day. But if not, I'll catch y'all in the morning. Obviously reporting to you the next day here in the Dominican Republic so to be more specific about where I am in the Dominican Republic because I know there's a lot of things going on in the resort side of the island but I am not on that side I am in Cabarete which is like 30 maybe 40 minutes away from the airport for Puerto Plata so I'm here with Ilse actually, she, I haven't put her on the vlog yet, but that's who I'm here with today because this is actually where her mom is from and like her aunts, her family, her grandfather built this house behind me, which is where we're staying. It's just a little bit of a beach shack, um, you know, no AC, <laughs> no hot water, but we're just kind of roughing it out here. I thought it would be a good time to, to kind of share what I've learned so far because as you guys know, like my brand it is Lex in the city and most times than not I travel to city environments uh, I've said it more than once before on here that I'm not really a beach person but I really actually wanted to have this experience it has been challenging I'm not someone who likes being hot I absolutely hate being sweaty um, and I have been a ball of sweat ever since I landed here it's been absolutely constant and I just have to accept the fact that that's just what it is on top of that the mosquitoes here are relentless like I've never experienced anything like this we are constantly putting on you know mosquito spray all kinds like layering up basically but they will find the smallest crevice that you just did not cover that happened to me all day yesterday and as I keep switching hands with my camera right now because I have different bites that keep telling myself don't scratch it don't scratch it so if you are going to come to the Caribbean or any place that's tr more tropical, I am going to give you some very basic <laughs> things that I recommend, which is number one, bring your own water bottle. I have a stainless steel water bottle that I brought with me to be refilled. We are luckily right across the street from a grocery store. So we just got a huge jug and I have been refilling my portable water bottle that I can refill because one, you have to be careful. Um, you obviously don't know if you can drink the tap water until you get somewhere and then you can find out. But two, I mean, it's just easier to just transport with your own water bottle than keep buying, which is also more sustainable. Um, obviously, you need mosquito spray. We have been going between two because they'll say it's allergic to DEET and DEET is that big, in big ingredient that deters mosquitoes. But they have, you know, obviously more herbal alternatives like eucalyptus lemon um and so some fun facts i actually learned about mosquitoes is that one only female mosquitoes attack like they're the only ones that bite which i'm like okay i didn't do anything to deserve this but all right so that's what they do but also too it's not about like having sweeter scent or sweeter blood apparently they are attracted to carbon monoxide and obviously when you're sweating constantly that's what they're feeding off of and I sweat a lot just naturally 
So, and that's pretty gross, but whatever, that's my body. So that's what they are definitely attracted to. They're also attracted to alcohol. They are attracted to darker colors too. So I'm really just, just a feasting ground for mosquitoes. And I think the last thing I learned is that they also are attracted to movement. And obviously when you're on vacation, you are gonna just be sitting there doing nothing. But um, I've been trying to remain as still as I can because I don't like getting bit. It has been like a, sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm fine. And then the next thing you know, I'm scratching like a crazy person. So it has definitely been a learning curve. But like I said, I came here for this experience. I was well aware of what I was getting into. It doesn't mean it makes it easier or anything, but I am still happy I'm here. I'm having a great time. This is my first vacation, as I may have briefly mentioned yesterday, where I'm just, I have nothing on the agenda. And it's really weird, but it's also really refreshing. I again travel to cities all the time and i'm just constantly going through a list of must do's and must sees and today like we woke up um went and got some ice cream which was all fruit it was like straight fruit no additives i don't know what he i'm just assuming but it said no dairy and no sugar but i saw the guy like make it in a machine but yeah it was just fruit ice cream we got some water and now we're chilling out, waiting till lunch. We also looked at a tourist um, information spot and we're gonna do some horseback riding on Friday for a little part of the first part of the day, just so we have something that's, you know, a little off the beaten path or a way to see things from a different point of view. I also wanna take this time to say that Ilse has kindly offered to allow me to use her GoPro footage when this vlog does come out because she will at some point actually be in the water and you'll get to see that i am not a water person i'm not getting in the water it's not happening so she will actually be underwater and stuff like that and i'm pretty sure she's gonna wear it tomorrow or friday for a horseback riding tour if i'm not feeling comfortable enough to only hold on to the horse with one hand and have the camera in the other hand but we'll see i may be feeling bold but just wanted to give you guys a proper update of what we're doing right now so i will try to do a lot better because I definitely want this, hello, I definitely want this vlog to have as much content as I can. I want to show you guys the island, I want to show you how beautiful it is. It's Everything's so colorful and it just makes you want to like, I don't know, it makes you want to stay because it's an island so it's got really good vibes. Anyway, there's definitely a mosquito eating my ear, my life. <laughs> so I'm going to catch up with you guys hopefully sooner than later and you guys can hear the ocean because the ocean is right here so it's really nice we just walk outside that gate and we're on the water and if I get a little closer maybe uh, there's not much out today way back there but maybe if we walk out there later you can see that some people are kite surfing and that's kind of what this side is known for.
And just to let you know, uh, you didn't miss anything today. <laughs> After lunch, we literally came back, and by the way, I'm not naked, um, but we just came back and I slept for like two hours. I don't know, it's just been one of those days, but we are approaching golden hour. So Ilse and I are about to, well actually I did Ilse's photo shoot already. And we're about to do my photo shoot and it's supposed to be this like all natural thing that I'm doing. So like no makeup and everything. There's a reason for it, but that's all you need to know. Um, that's why I look kind of like I'm naked because the whole thing is supposed to be like from here up. But I'm just wearing this strapless bathing suit top. But anyway, I will try to prop up the camera and see if we can get some behind the scenes. Sweatiest I've ever been. I'm just talking to the vlog, sorry. Oh, that's cool. And now we're gonna go get pizza.